Hello everybody, my name is Alan, I'm from Sauber Lab and in this video we're going to show how you can install the operating system for Snowledge NAS, the DSM, in any computer that you want and any device that you want. In this way you can try, you can figure out if it's good for you, if you like. Of course, we'll have a little bit limitations, but you can do everything that you want and use all the apps that you want. If you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're going to show in this video. But first of all, don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed yet, and let's understand a little bit more about it. So before we start to explain how we can do this installation, you're going to be asking, Alan, why are you going to post another video about Snowdrop NAS and how we can install in another computer? It's simple, that other system that I showed in the previous video no longer being supported, so you can install but they don't have the latest updates and continue on. So in this way, I decided to find another alternative and in this video, we're gonna show again how you can install Synology NAS DSM in any computer. And the second question that you're gonna have for me is why I want to install the same in my computer if I have OpenMedia Vault through NAS and no other applications. It's simple, this DSM works, it's secure, it's updated and have a lot of standard applications on it. So if you guys come here on my screen, here it's my Synology NAS, in this case it's a real Synology NAS and that's it's a DSM, uh, it is DS920 Plus. It's quite old but it's still working quite well. And one of the good things for it, you can have a lot of applications pre-installed. So if I wanted to install Plex, I don't need to use a container, I can install Plex directly in US. Also I have containers, what I can manage all my Docker containers. I can have my Synology font, storage managers. So if I come here my Synology manager, I can do a lot of uh, things there. I can look for my storage, all the configuration. In this case, I have my Synology Nice Hybrid S. HR, which allowed you to increase the size of your pool if you need. Also, they protect against of fade off one storage or one hard drive. Really similar for RAID 5, but you can increase the storage in the future if it's required. You can have a scribbly data. You can uh, have a spare cache. You can come here and uh, use the download station. You can have the antivirus. You can have a lot of things. You can storage analyze and see if you have any common data. So if I open here, I can see how much data I have my home, stalkers, medias and continue on. If I have any duplicate data and then I can process it. What's the biggest size? What's the latest access? Who is using more? And continue on. In this way, you know exactly where is your data, how much you're using and how you can manage it. Also, if I come here in my control panel, I can create share folders, I can create file systems, I can create users, I can enable or disable uh, the terminal, I can have a notification and other things that uh, make my life easy and just work. And if you want to try, you can try, have old computer and do it, old new computer, it doesn't matter what you need, but one thing that you need to have, you need to have at least four gigabytes of RAM memory, less than it will not work, you need to have a hard drive, and you need to have a flash drive. Why a flash drive? Because we're gonna install all our DSM in our flash drive. To do it, you're gonna need this application, Ruffles, and in this application, basically, you're gonna create a boot USB. You could use Valena Edge, yes, you can, but Rufus will make a better job and you ensure that you're gonna work. So basically, here you're gonna select the device, you're gonna select the image that we're gonna show how you can download, and you put start, they will process it, and once that finish, they say, it's ready, and that's it. The image that we're gonna use in this case will be Arc, and hit Arc Loader, and they say that uh, they will run with uh, DSM 7, and that um, will make everything for you, will be really easy. You can have the week, you can have all the information, but what's some key, it's to come here in the load. In the loads, they will have uh, different informations, you can download it as an image, and this is what we're gonna use to create that uh, uh, bootable USB. In my case, I use a virtual machine, so use this VDH. If you want to use 
Proxmox should do, you're gonna use a different one, VMDK or EVO, I don't remember exactly which one that's comparable with a Proxmox, and you're gonna do exactly the same step. You're gonna simulate or locate that image, you're gonna have extra storages, and that you're gonna run as an initial boot for the USB. As I told, in my case, I'm not use this image, I will use a virtual machine, so here I already have my virtual machine. I already created this virtual machine. If I come here in settings, I can explain exactly what I did. I put the name of my virtual machine. In system, I leave a five gigabytes of RAM memory. Remember, you need to have a minimum of four gigabytes, otherwise they will not work, principally if you're using the SM923 or something, need to have a minimum four gigabytes. Here in storage, I read link my VHD, and here I link my hard drive, let's say my disk. In Proxmox, you're gonna do the same. In your physical computer, you need to put the hard drives. And then you need to connect this network cable directly in your router or your switch and continue on. Don't use Wi-Fi because this will be unstable, not work the way that expect. We have a lot of troubles. So make sure that you use a stable connection and the best one is the cable. So this is what you need to do. Once that you do it, let's put OK and let's start this machine. Once that you start, make sure that you boot using the USB, otherwise they will not start the system, and that uh, you're gonna say the next step. So let's wait a little bit until they finish boot. Once that they boot, they give this page, Arc Loader. You can have a lot of configurations, but what you need to do is Arc Configuration Mode. Once that you click, they will start to load this Arc, we will start to load all this application, and that uh, once that they load, you can select what kind of device that you want to simulate. Once this system starts, they will give the IP address in the top and they will say hard ID, choose model, recover, network. Here in choose model, that we're gonna select what specific model that you want. You have a lot of different models that you can use. So here will be a little bit old ones and go for a little bit new ones. I suggest you to select at least 2023, not older than it because will be quite uh, late and maybe not have all the updates required on this. In my case, I will select 923 plus because I already have the 920 plus. So to make a similar comparison, but you can select anything that will have more hard drives. That's totally fine. I will select it. I will select what US that I want or what revision that I want. In my case, I want the latest one, 6.2. And if I select, here will be the build version gonna ask why I want to select 6.2. So we'll come here in the website for Synology NAS, what they explain about the 7.2 DSM. And here they will say about reading, encryption, RISOM, and all the information that this system is capable to do and what's the difference that you can do. For myself, I prefer to install the latest revision because I know that will be updated. All the bugs that they found, they will try to fix it and the latest revision will be the latest bugs cracked and more secure. You can use an old one, but potentially put yourself in risk because something could be broken and they fix in the new revision, but you don't have this update. So anyway, we're gonna select the latest one and they ask if I want to try automate mode. This automate mode to work, it means that you need to boot for USB and then after this one, they will boot for hard drive, so we'll put yes. And then they will start to recover, start to make your network, make all the installation, pre-configuration, define storage, download all the pre-files, and that uh, will be time for restart the system. So let's wait until this first step happens. Once the restart, you're gonna have this page. What uh, you need to do, you don't touch anything because automatically they will start this DSM mode. They will take a couple of minutes until you open that exactly page and tell what's exactly IP address that we can connect. So let's wait a little bit more then. Once, once appear this page, they'll give a little bit overview what you have. Here in the top, they will say what revision that you have, what CPU that you're using, how much run memory that you have, what is the tape of this storage, if it's a virtual or real machine, and they will give the IP address. This IP address that I need to start to use to make the initial configuration. Please wait for you move in a corner, make sure that these configurations work, and then after the next step, we can then connect our computer in a side house and leave it there. 
So now I will open this IP address 192.168.1.07. So we'll do it. Once they have opened this IP address the first time, they will start this load and they'll say welcome. Here they already show the image of our machine. That's not a real machine, but uh, how it's supposed to be. I'll put install. They will ask if I want to download or basically download the latest one by the internet. I will say download the latest one. They will say that all my data will be deleted from my hard drives. Yes, make sure that you are happy with this because your data will be deleted. And then I put continue. I don't know why they ask what's the mod that we use, but they already say it. So we'll put the S. 293 plus if you select other model make sure that you use exactly the same model that come here in the top and then i will put delete and now is the time that they will download all the information from the internet make sure that they install pre-configurate will do all the setups and that will give this system ready for you to use be read this one could take around 10 minutes until it's ready for you to use so have patience wait and once that's uh, they will finish to install, they will restart the system, and when it's ready, they will give the next step page for you to do. So let's wait again. Once that they finish to the initial configuration, you're gonna have this page that welcome to DSM 7.2. We're gonna put the start. We're gonna define the name of my device. In my case, I have Alpha Math, now it's Gamma. I'll select the username or the admin name, will be Sauber Lab. I will put my password. I'll do the same, my password. I can allow it only to provide some assistance, not make so much difference for me. I'll put next. Now I can select which options that I want. I wanted to leave always to install the latest DSM when it's required. So I'll put recommended and put next. I can skip this step because I don't want to create a Synology NAS account because they will link for the serial number of my Synology NAS. And in this case, it's not a properly serial number. It's a simulate one, so they will not work as you expect. I'll put skip. I can allow to send information for Synology NAS, and then they will start to load. This will take a couple of seconds again until they open this page. And here I suggest you to install all these pre-installation programs. Here the two-factor authentication, I suggest you to do, to allow it. But in my case, I will put remember later because this is my only virtual machine, I will not run it. The same thing, I will not uh, set up an email, so I'll put I do it later. And now I need to create my pool. To create my pool, I'll put create pool. They'll give this screen. I pull start. I select what kind of uh, rate that I want. I suggest you to leave as SHR, the same way that I use for my real Synology NAS. I put next. I select the hard drive that I want to do it. Next again. Storage, always keep. If you're using hard drives, uh, physical ones, I suggest you to perform a uh, drive check only to make sure that no data is corrupted or everything is correctly. So make sure that you select this option. In my case is a virtual machine, not making any difference. So we'll put skip, drive check. Have two options, BTFS or EXT. I prefer to use the BTFS because they allow snapshot, replication, other things. This one will be really limited. This one will give more information for me. So we'll put next. Encrypt data. No, I don't want to encrypt data. Put next. They will give a little bit overview for my rate. And I put apply and apply. If you have uh, lots of hard drives, let's say rate 5 with uh, four, three or four hard drives, they will take some time until they build this rate. In my case, they will build really fast because it's only one hard drive. So basically, that's it. Up in my rate. Now I can close everything. Now I can start to install all those applications. I come here in pack centers allowed and here we give all the application that I can install. I can come here only install. They will ask it to make some basic configurations. They will download, they will install and do everything for you. Now is the time that you can start to enjoy the same, make the trials, make sure that you like the system, run everything that you want and make sure that it's usable for you. Remember, don't use this one for production because Sometimes they will not work as you expect. If you want to use in a company and you want to make sure that it's stable, it's better to buy the proper hardware instead of simulating a computer. But this one will work for lots of things and if you use in your house, will not see so much different. So 
In this way, we arrive at the end of this video. I hope that you guys like this video. If you like this video and think that was interesting, please don't forget to leave your like. Consider subscribing for the channel if you're not subscribed yet. And see you next time. Bye.